The inauguration ceremony was unlike any other, with numerous measures in place to protect public health. In her speech, President Tsai Ing-wen paid tribute to the stars of Taiwan's response to COVID-19. The president revealed that the day before, on a visit to Health Minister Chen Shizhong's office, she spotted a camp bed. It turned out that in the busiest periods of epidemic management, the overworked minister occasionally slept there to save commuting time. May 20, 2020 was an inauguration day like no other. To satisfy social distancing recommendations, only 200 guests were invited to the ceremony. The familiar epidemic control team were the stars of the event. Chen Shizhong, Zhou Zhihao, Zhang Shanchun, Chen Zongyan, and Zhuang Renxiang. President Tsai at one point asked the team to stand for a round of applause. Chen Shizhong drew attention to economic minister Shen Rongjing for his work on the mass production front. Are there any other epidemic heroes here from any field? I wish to thank every Taiwanese person who waited outside a pharmacy during the early stages of the epidemic. Thank you for your patience and for your trust in the government. It is because of you that now the whole world is looking at Taiwan. She thanked the whole of Taiwan. The day before, she had popped into the Central Epidemic Command Center to invite its officials to the ceremony personally. She inadvertently revealed that, alongside a sea of letters and cards from well-wishers, Chen Shizhong has a fold-up bed in his office. The little bed sits at the back of the room and reveals Chen Shizhong's need to sleep at work when the going got really tough. The president said she was impressed and moved to see it. It was around the Lunar New Year. It was very busy then. My colleagues feared perhaps I didn't have time to go home to sleep, so they thought I could use it to get a bit of rest. But most of the time it's just my briefcase sleeping in that bed. Chen Shizhong laughed as he explained the camp bed's purpose. It was that cheerful pragmatism that saw Taiwan steadily through the tightest spots of the crisis.